Do you need a dog to participate in power contests or probably just to scare away strangers? Well, big strength comes with big muscles. Dogs can have up to 50 muscles only in the ears. The largest amount of a dog's muscles is positioned in the front part of his body. However, not every breed has the same amount. The number varies from 200 up to 400 muscles, although some breeds may exceed this number. The first most muscular breed is the American Bully. This breed can be up to 20 inches tall and can weigh up to 60 kilograms, which would suit the heavyweight category of bodybuilding contests. It's one of the youngest breeds. It was bred from American Staffordshire Terriers in combination with American Pit Bull Terriers, from whom he inherits his muscular physique. This dog has a compact body, short and very well-defined legs that are positioned far from each other. His chest is wide and deep too. His neck is muscular and has an average length. Although large, his head is in proportion with the rest of the body. This breed has a short and smooth coat that can come in different colors. Dogo Argentino Dogo Argentino can be maximally 27 inches tall and can weigh up to 99 pounds, which would make him a great competitor in the heavyweight category. Usually, their bodies are longer than they are tall, their legs are straight and muscular, especially the muscles of the hind legs are very noticeable. Their muscular neck narrows towards the shoulders, whereas the chest is deep and wide. This breed has a large head, which often makes them look alike and get confused with an American pit bull. Their main characteristic is the color of their coat, which is always white and sometimes can have black marks. Their coats are short, and that makes their muscles very distinct. These physical traits make Dogo Argentino look extremely intimidating are a result of the breeding between different dogs. One of them is the Cordoba Fighting Dog, which was a very strong and muscular dog, but nowadays extinct. Rottweiler. Up to 27 inches tall and 130 pounds, these dogs are agile and athletic. Their big body has a wide chest and very well-defined muscles. When seen in front, his legs are straight and far from each other, whereas the hind legs are longer. Their heads are especially large with hanging ears that give a wide look to the whole skull. These dogs also have short coats and usually their color is black and tan. Probably the reason why these dogs are so strong and muscular is because they were used for pulling carts by the Roman army. For sure, today's Rottweilers could enter the heavyweight category. Doberman Pinscher. This breed can be up to 28 inches tall and weigh up to 77 pounds, so they would suit more as a heavyweight lifter. Because it's a descendant of the Rottweiler, Doberman has inherited his color and muscles characteristics. The biggest part of his muscles is positioned in the front half of his body. With an average size and elegant body, these dogs have long and strong legs. From the two types of Dobermans, the American and the European, the first one is naturally more muscular. Traditionally, Dobermans get their ears and tail cropped, which makes them look extremely intimidating. Cane Corso this breed is 28 inches tall and can weigh up to 110 pounds. With this size, he could easily compete as a heavyweight. It's said that in ancient Rome, four cane corsos could kill a tiger. This shows how powerful their ancestors were. Their musculoskeletal system doesn't develop completely until they're 18 months old, whereas after this age, cane corso gets formed and maintains his muscle mass as long as he has constant activity and a rich diet. Their neck is muscular and just as tall as the head, which is also very large and square-shaped. These dimensions and the wide chest bring out his body size even more. These dogs have developed jaw muscles as well. That makes them one of the strongest bites in the canine world, up to 700 PSI. Boxer. This dog breed weighs up to 71 pounds and can be up to 25 inches tall. Boxers have a proportional body and long legs. His front legs are especially developed. The most noticeable features of this dog are the wide chest, the big head, and square jaws. Boxers complete their muscular development at two years old. Before this age, his muscle mass can be smaller, but yet he would be very easily accepted as a heavyweight lifter. Despite looking intimidating, Boxer has a gentle personality. Their short coats come in three different colors, white, brindle, and fawn, with or without white marks. French Bulldog 
Being up to 13 inches tall and weighing 28 pounds, this dog is the smallest one from all of these muscle packets we've ranked in this list. With these dimensions, French Bulldog would be a perfect fit in the lightweight category. These dogs have heavy bones, tonified muscles, short front legs, whereas the hind legs are strong and a little longer. They also have short but strong necks that widen toward the shoulders. When seen in front, the chest is wide and square-shaped. In comparison to the body, we could say that Frenchie has one of the largest heads of the canine world. What makes this dog extraordinarily unique are his bat ears. The short coat of this breed can be white, fawn, bridal, tan, and bridal and white. This breed reaches its full maturity, height, and standard body weight after 14 months. However, they still may gain weight in the form of muscular mass. These dogs originate from toy bulldogs of England that were brought to France after the Industrial Revolution. Since that time, Frenchies became popular and one of the favorite breeds of Parisians. Bull Terrier Up to 22 inches tall and with a maximum weight of up to 84 pounds, these dogs would be able to compete in the category of middleweight. Bull Terrier is a strong, muscular dog with wide shoulders. The muscles of this breed will develop completely when he's one year old. His well-defined legs are positioned far from each other to support the body mass. The front part of his body and his extremities are especially muscular. He has a long neck that narrows from the shoulders towards the head. What makes this dog especially distinctive, despite his muscles, is the look of his head, considering that this is the only breed that has an oval head and triangular eyes. This breed with different colors has a miniature version as well that can be up to 10 inches tall and weigh up to 16 kilograms. Staffordshire Bull Terrier this breed can be up to 16 inches tall and can weigh up to 37 pounds. With a muscular body and wide chest, this dog breed is similar to other bully breeds. Their front legs are straight with a medium length, whereas the hind ones are much more muscular. Their short neck widens toward the shoulders while their head is short and wide. The coat of the Staffordshire Bull Terrier is short and can vary in colors. However, these are always combined with white color. These dogs have an interesting nickname, Nanny Dog, because besides their muscular looks, they're known as extremely friendly dogs with children. Greyhound These dogs are 28 inches tall and can weigh up to 75 pounds, which makes them suitable for the middleweight category. Greyhound breed has a unique body appearance. He's slim with very straight and tall legs, especially the hind ones. He has a deep chest, wide and muscular back. His neck and head are tall as well. These dogs have smooth and short coats with different kinds of colors. Because of his well-built muscles, this dog can run up to 45 miles per hour, making him the fastest dog in the whole world. A smaller version of Greyhound exists and is called the Italian Greyhound, which is up to 16 inches tall and can weigh up to 11 pounds. What about your dog? In which category of bodybuilding would he fit? Let us know in the comments.